The empire is strained. The Great Depression continues to strangle our economy, and the Commonwealth is feeling it. Meanwhile, the monarchy has been weakened to a point beyond belief. The king is being forced to abdicate due to his wish of marrying a commoner, but he will not. King Edward's determination for both marriage and the crown has plunged the stability of the empire and has forced our allies abroad to look elsewhere for support. The Spanish break into civil war and it seems chaos looms over the world. As the king begins to secure his power, parliament walks out and the commonwealth dissolves. Almost all of our colonies declare themselves independent and leave the protection of the empire. But we will re-secure them and punish their leaders for what they've done. The colonies begin destroying themselves first. India and Pakistan go to war. Bangladesh declares their independence. Shortly after the king secures his power, the fascists in Spain secure theirs, and Mexico breaks into civil war. The first step to create a stable realm is to ensure no land invasions are possible. Our only land border with Ireland must be eradicated. And so we go to war, swiftly seizing Irish lands and re-annexing them back into the empire. The first step towards vengeance. As we retake Ireland, Europe is plunged into war. The outbreak occurs between the French Entente and the German-Hungarian faction. Germany secures Czechoslovakia, but a stalemate is created on the Western Front. Due to Europe's attention being drawn towards their borders, the king decides to retake the jewel of the crown, India. We launch a naval invasion from Sri Lanka to mainland India. Initially, this invasion fails due to lack of ports, but our second invasion into northern India is secured and soon our push cannot be stopped. We eventually capitulate India. She's annexed back into the empire and used as a launching point for our other colonies, Bangladesh, Burma, and Pakistan. As Europe is plunged into war, our final Indian holdings are re-secured. After which, I send my divisions to Canada, hoping to invade. In preparation for this invasion, I build divisions to secure my holdings in Africa and India. By going to war with Canada, I'm going to war with most of the colonies. The plan is to secure Canada first, then South Africa, and finally Australia. At this time, Germany declares war on Poland. This puts them at war on two fronts, weakening their resistance against France. I declare war on Canada. Almost immediately, the US invokes the Monroe Doctrine and declares war on me. They then proceed to join the French Entente, which puts me at war with France. Quickly, my African positions are at risk since I hadn't planned for a French assault. I immediately begin pushing into Canada, knowing that getting bogged down in the North would effectively cripple my war effort. Unfortunately, I was eventually halted due to both Canadian and American divisions holding strong. The situation then continued to deteriorate. The Americans blockaded my outcrop in Canada, creating a horrible supply situation. They also blockaded my trade, cutting off important resources such as fuel and tungsten from getting to my factories. I attempted to utilize my ships, hoping to escort convoys, but this wasn't effective as I was rapidly losing fuel. In the end, I abandoned all hopes of trading and quickly diverted all factories to produce refineries. I also halted all Canadian offensives. For the time being, we'd have to go on the defensive, at least until the fuel situation was remedied. The new plan was to strike closer to home. I would invade France from Normandy, hoping a surprise invasion would lead to less resistance. From there, I'd use the French factories to continue refinery production while invading Italy to secure the Mediterranean. But the game had other plans. Italy declared war on France, backstabbing them first, and quickly began to push into French territory. By this point, I had completely run out of fuel, so all ships had to be docked and all planes landed. France was guaranteed by El Salvador, who was allied with the Soviets. When Italy declared war on France, that dragged the Soviets into war with Italy, and therefore into war with me, limiting my potential trade partners further. I rushed to put together a plan to invade France. By the time my naval invasion had succeeded, Italy had secured southern France and the Allies were pushing me back in Canada. After my landing succeeded, France quickly capitulated. Unfortunately, most of the capitulation went to Italy. The situation in 1941 was dire. No fuel, Italy blocking expansion in Europe, 
the Canadian front on the retreat, all because of one lacking resource. Long story short, protect your trade. If you'd like to see me continue this playthrough, the current plan would be to attack Italy from my outcrop in Europe. If not, make sure to suggest what you'd like to see next time. Till then, take care.